and it's been found in research all over the world that between 30 to 60 percent of the income of the local government comes from tenement rate. But what happened? There was an ingenious creation in Lagos State a couple of years back where the Lagos State government introduced what was we'll called the land use charge and absorbed the tenement rates to be collected by local government in the land use charge to be collected by the state government. So what happened was that the dominant source of income to the local government system was taken away from them and was sought by the state government. So I what would the local government do? Now, so the, let me these roles have been taken. So over. let me tell you what. And is it's not only Lagos. I mean, you're just taking. No, so Lagos, of Lagos. Lagos did the experiment and it seems to work. And what happened was that it was cut and paste everywhere. So virtual estate. Let me tell you what will shock you. You know Shura, Shura Shopping Mall. Okay. Shura Shopping Complex. Yeah. You know it was built by the local government. Yeah. It was built by the Lagos Island local government. Mm. It wasn't built with income from that local government because of the quantum of income the Get through tenement rate, that local government approached the capital market and was able to raise bonds. A local government in Lagos State approached the capital markets to raise bonds before Ogun State did. Let me give you another instance. Ibadan municipal government. Ibadan municipal government was a local government that managed the olive Ibadan. Today it has been broken to 11 local governments. Ibadan municipal government was able to use the tenement rate, the expectation of tenement rate, to be able to take a World Bank loan. Mm. A couple of years back, mm. all of these are documented. Uh, uh, for some of our, so, uh, for some of our viewers who are wondering, this road is not done. Uh, something is happening with this. The area is dirty, so you need to listen to some of these because uh, uh, perhaps the, the people that you must be asking the questions, uh, the people you are asking, are not the right uh, oh, yeah. set of people that, that you are asking. It now brings us to how the the, 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 the local government uh, itself is being formed. In so many states of the Federation, for example, they are being headed by caretaker committees. Uh, we see a lot of uh, elections in some of these local government areas. The ruling party wins all of it. It looks so much like an impossible one, but politically, this is what we see in Nigeria. If I let me tell you the one, the, the, the least local government was two weeks ago in Benue State. Benue State is its local government election. 23 local governments, APC cleared all the election. All Including the, the, all the council yes. seats. Now let me tell you the irony of it all. When this chairman of the state government was announcing the result, he said he didn't have figures. <laughs> is that sad? It's that sad. So you declare winners, in a political party, but you don't tell us the figures. On the day it was announcing. Same thing happened in Shokoto, 22, state, 22 local government, APC cleared all of us. And it is not an APC issue. The PDP did the same thing in Ebony State. Cleared all the 13 local governments and 171 words. In Ogu State, same thing happened. That was, uh, I think, earlier this year or late last year. The APC cleared all the chairmanship, and I think the PDP got a few, um, a few council positions. So what, what the state governors are realizing is that, you see, the greatest opportunity for a state governor to shine is to take over the role of a local government. Mm. Because the role of a local government is the closest to you. W would you suggest that the state electoral commission should be taking over or should be scrapped? Because some people say, some of even the appointees, all the... Uh, electoral commission in the state are uh, just cronies of, of, of the government, of the state government. And that's why you perhaps will never get a free and fair local government in, uh, uh, in Nigeria yeah, okay. election. So, maybe I will not use the word crony. Maybe I want to talk about uh, capacity of the people that are here in LIFESEC. I personally feel that we should not have state electoral commission. That's my view. I also feel that the process of appointing and the timing. So, for example, in Lagos State, because the Lagos State is the next election. The timing of appointment of the chairman was, I'm not sure, the lady they put there, excellent lady. I mean, she has been a justice in Lagos State, excellent lady. She's going to head an electoral system. I'm not sure she has enough time to prepare. I mean, from bearing where she She's came appointed from. Last look time. at the first, yes, look at the first election that Terry Jagger did. I mean, it wasn't as good as the second one. And then it got, got better with it. So uh, we appoint them so late, uh, they don't have capacity, they don't have competence. But again, one of the things that makes me very sad are some of the things they even do. So for example, in some states, the uh, state in better uh, electoral commission decides to put a huge sum of money for people to come and contest to become councillors. Uh, in some states, uh, they decided that they will not use the PDC. Mm. And that's the most dangerous part. Right. Where a LASIEC decides, or a state government a electoral commission decides that it will not use a PVC. Mm. Interestingly, in a system and a state where the greatest reason why they won the election was the use of the PVC. All right. Let me show you. Let me remind you of, uh, you must have seen this, uh, Yomi. Uh, take a look at this uh, visual, this video of uh, the APC primaries in Lagos. And it brings to mind, uh, okay, th this was a protest, but the, the primaries which got bad, look at it. Look at it there.
Look yeah. at it there. <laughs> no, see, the first question we need to ask ourselves here. Let's ask ourselves this question. This is a primary for local government elections. Yeah. It, does. it is strange that the primaries of a local government is centralized. What are Badagri as uh, delegates doing in Suruleri to choose the chairman for Badagri local mm. government? So, it, so why should the state decide to centralize the selection of people to become local government chairman? It's just the same way that when you want to choose the gubernatorial aspirant of a political party, and you do it they gather them in Abuja. Mm. It's my local government chairman. I and should be able. These to are do some that. of the grievances so, of uh, grievances of these people. That is part of the. That's part of the attempts to annihilate and dominate the local government system. What so, do you think should be the solution to fixing permanently the local government problems? We have had three significant, or two, if you allow me to use the word, two or three significant reforms to the local government system in Nigeria. I, I wrote a book on this, um, and, and, and it's gone well. What, what has made it do well was the fact that uh, uh, there were attempts to change things. But the problem we have is sometimes the impact of the military. So we had about 200 and some local governments, and the military, in their wisdom, decided to break them. So Ibadan municipal government, for example, because of the size and volume, was broken to 11 local governments. Mm. So what happens? So Ibadan municipal government could run things. Each of the level could not run that. So one of the things we need to urgently do, one, I think we should scrap last year. Two, I think people should participate in local government elections. Please let me say this very clearly so for the benefit of your negotiations. In 2003, we had the local government election in Lagos State. Only 10.5% of voters showed up. Mm -hmm. There has not been any local government election we have had in Lagos State where 30% of voters showed up. showed up. So what happens is that the man that you're going to pay, will not, you don't show up at his election, mm -hmm. so you don't care what happens. More negotiations show up at the election of their residence association so, than, than uh, local government chairman. You are Mifa, I am a development uh, expert and policy analyst. Many thanks for your thoughts. We will bring you more because these issues are staring us in the face yeah. every day. And thanks Thank for you. those thoughts. And we take a moment. And when we return, INEC has approved the registration for five more parties. 2019 is in sight and the issues are in our faces. We appraise one of the parties and the core of their existence. Join us again.